Admit to your mistakes. Learn from them so that this doesn't happen ever, ever again. You all need to resign immediately. Well, joining us right now to discuss the father of Staff Sergeant Taylor Hoover, one of the 13 service members killed during the withdrawal from Afghanistan. Uh, Mr. Hoover, thank you so much. Um, what do you feel went wrong? And I'm sure at this point, uh, we thank you for your son's service and for your commitment to what he gave uh, the ultimate sacrifice for our country, for all of us. And obviously now you want his life to have meaning. Um, what's the best thing to come out of this for you at this point? Thank, first of all, thank you for having me. Um, the, the biggest thing that we would like to see is that they take accountability. We want justice, we want accountability, and we wanna know why it had to happen the way it happened. There are conflicting reports, as you heard all of us talk about, um, lies, deceit, and it runs the whole gamut. And whether that's from you know, the Joint Chiefs of Staff all the way up or from the top down, I don't care what it is. I want them to admit their mistakes. You know, our, our veterans that have fought in that 20 year war deserve better. You know, you just played a, a clip of him talking about the burn pits. That's all fine and well, but let's talk about the mental anguish, the physical anguish that all of our veterans are going through and they're not getting the help and the, the dignity that they deserve either. And that's that's what we want. I mean. We want our kids' names out there. They've already set their legacy, and we'll continue to talk about them at whoever wants to talk to us about them. You know, it's it's an opportunity for us to uh, let the, the country and, the, frankly, the world know exactly what happened over there and that it didn't need to happen in the way that it did. Darren, you said that you and the other Gold Star families were told lies and given incomplete and incorrect uh, reports. Tell us a little bit about what you were told that you then later learned was inaccurate. Well, like his mother said in that in her speech on Monday, uh, where our son was standing, did he live for a little while? Was there gunfire? Um, were they hit by that gunfire? Or was it just the, the ball bearings and the shrapnel from the, the vest? Um, you know, there was a, a three minute glitch in the drone overhead that they had to retask in order to get to the, the gate area uh, post blast. And we didn't, we weren't able to see anything of the blast and I'm sorry, but We've got drone coverage of everything, everywhere, 24-7. And for them to tell us that is absolutely ludicrous. Mr. Hoover, uh, before we go, tell us about your son. You know, he was, he is a man of distinction and honor. And the one individual that family, friends, Marines that were under his stead could come to him and feel safe in coming to him and asking questions, uh, finding out answers. Um, you know, both sides of the family love and adore him. And, you know, his loss has created a hole that's, that's never going to be filled, a void that we can't we can't ever fill. You know, I, I, I say it all the time, but I couldn't be more proud of him. And if asked if he would do it again, knowing the consequences, he wouldn't hesitate one second, not even a blink of an eye would he hesitate. He'd do it all over again. Well, Mr. Hoover, your son, uh, Taylor, clearly is a hero, and we are so grateful to him and to his other uh, 12 fallen colleagues uh, and uh, members of the military who lost their lives in that horrible uh, Afghanistan withdrawal. And we really appreciate what you are doing and those families are doing 
bringing all of this to the American people and also allowing your son's name to live on as it very much should. Darren Hoover, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you.